Hi, welcome to Zoo See Lee. Today I'm going to share all the books that I read in 2022. There are 130 of them, so let's just get going. First up, The Christmas Donkey by Alta Halverson Seymour. This was a read aloud. Eden Brook by Julianne Donaldson, personal fiction book. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Read aloud. The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien, personal fiction. The Crown of Embers, Ray Carson, personal fiction. Five Children in It by Edith Nesbitt, read, nope, audiobook. The Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen, audiobook. Happy Little Family by Rebecca Caldell, um, Caudill, audiobook. James Harriet's Treasury for Children, audiobook. The Tangled Skein by Alta Halverson Seymour, personal fiction. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving, audiobook. The Unexpected Mrs. Polifax by Dorothy Gilman, audiobook. Beginner's Mind by Yo-Yo Ma, audiobook. Fry's English Delight, by Stephen Fry, audiobook. Taming the Tiger Within, Meditations on Transforming Difficult Emotions, by a name we're going to put up on the screen because I don't know how to say it, audiobook. The Reluctant Dragon by Kenneth Graham, audiobook. Um... The Occident, part one of the Book of Marvels, Marvels by Richard Halliburton. Personal nonfiction. Paddle to the Sea by Holly Clancing Holly, audiobook. The Art of War by Sun Tzu, audiobook. Although I think I would have liked it better in book form. Dragon Quest by Anne McCaffrey, audiobook. Now We Are Six by A. A. Milne, audiobook. Attack on Pearl Harbor, Shelley Tanaka, audiobook. When We Were Very Young by A. A. Milne, audiobook. Great Children's Poems, audiobook. The More Child by Eloise McGraw, personal fiction. Mary Poppins and the House Next Door, audiobook. The Declaration, or The Three Documents That Made America by Sam Fink, audiobook. Andrew Carnegie, a learner biography by Laura Bufano Edge. Personal uh, nonfiction. <laughs> Mary Poppins in... Cherry Tree Lane by Pamela Linden Travers. I think I forgot to say her earlier. P.L. Travers. Um, audiobook. The Book of Three by Lloyd Alexander. Personal fiction. Last Child in the Woods by Richard Louvre. Personal nonfiction. The Paradox of Jamestown by Christopher Collier and James Lincoln Collier, audiobook. The Amazing Mrs. Polifax by Dorothy Gilman, audiobook. Kanga and Baby Roo Come to the Forest by A. A. Milne, read aloud. The Tale of Mrs. Tittlemouse by Beatrix Potter, read aloud. The Tale of Jemima Puddle Duck by Beatrix Potter, read aloud. The Tempest by William Shakespeare, audiobook. The Elusive Mrs. Polifax by Dorothy Gilman, audiobook. 
The Tale of the Flopsy Bunnies by Beatrix Potter. Read aloud. <laughs> a House is Built at Pooh Corner for Eeyore by A.A. A. Milne. Read aloud. A Poem for Mrs. Polifax by Dorothy Gilman. Audiobook. Mrs. Polifax on Safari by Dorothy Gilman. Audiobook. Little Town on the Prairie by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Read aloud. The Tale of Little Pig Robinson by Beatrix Potter. Read aloud. The French and Indian War by um, Christopher and James Lincoln Collier. Audiobook. The Lost Queen of Egypt by Lucille Phillips Morrison. Personal fiction. Bull Run by Paul Fleischman, audiobook. The Borrowed House by Hilda Van Stockham, Histor personal fiction. Babe the Sheep Pig by um, Dick King Smith, audiobook. The Angel Knew Papa and the Dog by Douglas Kane McKelvey, personal fiction. <laughs> Schoolhouse in the Woods by Rebecca Cottle, audiobook. James Moriarty, Consulting Criminal by Andy Weir, audiobook. The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint Exupery, audiobook. Nope, it was not an audiobook. Personal fiction. Thornton Burgess's Bedtime Stories, audiobook. Up and Down the River by Rebecca Cottle, Audiobook, The Tuttle Twins and the Golden Rule by Connor Boyack, read aloud. The Tuttle Twins and the Spectacular Show Business by Connor Boyack, read aloud. The Black Star of Kingston by S.D. Smith, personal fiction. No, 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 that was an audiobook. The Children of Noisy Village by Astrid Lindgren, audiobook. Slavery and the Coming of the Civil War by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier, audiobook. Paddington Helps Out, audiobook. Susan B. Anthony by Helen Alby Monsell, audiobook. Homer Price by Robert McCloskey, audiobook. Mrs. Polifax on the China Station by Dorothy Gilman, audiobook. <laughs> Elantris by Brandon Sanderson, Personal Fiction, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang by Ian Fleming, audiobook, The Story of Dr. Doolittle by Hugh Lofting, audiobook, The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis, read aloud, The Tuttle Twins and the Fate of the Future by Connor Boyack, read aloud, Clara Barton by Augusta Stevenson, audiobook, Nurse Matilda by Christiana Brand, audiobook. Nim's Island by Wendy Orr, audiobook. Schoolroom in the Parlor by Rebecca Cottle, audiobook. The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill, personal fiction. Building a New Nation by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier, audiobook. More About Paddington by Michael Bond, audiobook. Marie Antoinette uh, from the Royal Diaries series by Catherine Lasky, personal fiction. Um, the Jeffersonian Republicans by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier, audiobook. A Bear Called Paddington by Michael Bond, audiobook. We Were Tired of Living in a House by Liesl Moak Scorpin. Read aloud. Creating the Constitution by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier. Audiobook. The Story About Ping by Marjorie Flack. Read aloud. Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Personal Fiction. Auto of the Silver Hand by Howell, Howard Pyle. Mm, audiobook. Never Seen 
by Shannon Messenger. To be fair, I only read like the last 100 pages of that this year. Personal fiction. Heidi by Johanna Spirey. Read aloud. Pilgrims and Puritans by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier. Audiobook. The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk. Personal nonfiction. <laughs> Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Yes, this was a second time this year, but this time an audiobook. Hispanic America, Texas and the Mexican War by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier. Audiobook. The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which consisted of All the Novels and One Short Story by Douglas Adams. Personal Fiction. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, audio book. Edgar Meyer's Bible Storybook, Elsie Amelie Edgar Meyer. That was a physical, um, personal read. Load Star by Shannon Messenger, personal fiction. Reconstruction and the Rise of Jim Crow by, um, Christopher and James Lincoln Collier, audiobook. Sunshine by Robin McKinley, personal fiction. Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne, audiobook. The Joys of Living by Orison Sweat Marden, personal nonfiction. Clash of, Clash of Cultures, Christopher and James Lincoln Collier, audiobook. Food, What the Heck Should I Eat by Mark Hyman, Personal Nonfiction, Beauty by Robin McKinley, Personal Fiction, Temple Grandin by uh, Cy Montgomery, Audiobook, Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling, Personal Fiction, Our Little Dutch Cousin by Luna May Innes, Read Aloud, Andrew Jackson's America by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier, Audiobook, Circumference and the First Round Table by Cindy Neuschwander, Read Aloud, The Long Road to Gettysburg by Jim Murphy, Audiobook, The Sleeping Beauty and Other Fairy Tales from the Old French by Arthur Quiller Couch, Audiobook, Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote, Audiobook, Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka, audiobook, Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, audiobook, Spindle's End by Robin McKinley, personal fiction, Our Little Belgian Cousin by Blanche McManus, read aloud, Understood Betsy by Dorothy Canfield Fisher, uh, read aloud, a Century of Immigration by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier, audiobook. Indians, Cowboys, and Farmers by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier, audiobook. Stel, Star of Del Tora by, well, the first book, Shadows of the Master by Emily Rhoda, personal fiction. Our Little Dutch Cousin by Blanche McManus, read aloud. The Civil War by Christopher and James Lincoln Collier, audiobook. Anne Frank's Story by Carol Ann Lee, audiobook. Mrs. Polifax and the Hong Kong Buddha by Dorothy Gilman, audiobook. Light Falls by Brian Greene, audiobook. The Life of Robert E. Lee by Mary Lynn Williamson, audiobook. Our Little Spanish Cousin by Mary F. Nixon Roulet, Read Aloud, Stuart Little by E.B. White, Personal Fiction, The Death of Ivan Ilyich by Leo Tolstoy, Audiobook, The Monster in the Hollows by Andrew Peterson, Read Aloud, Mother Culture by Karen Andriola, Personal Nonfiction, Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy, Audiobook, and The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, personal fiction. <sighs> Quite the list. 
I had a lot of fun kind of looking down a little bit at some numbers and how I had approached my reading this year. The audiobooks, I had just gone through my Audible library and sorted it by um, duration. And I just started at the smallest and I'm working my way to the biggest. Sometimes with series, I kind of have to, I either go out of order if it doesn't matter if I pay attention to the series or I listen to the earlier books in the series before going back or I just hold off on it. Sometimes there was a lot of nonfiction at one time and so I would kind of jump back and forth between a nonfiction and a fiction. But I just always kept that going and made sure I always had an audiobook going. I read 25 personal fiction books and nine of those were rereads. I really enjoy rereading books and I have a feeling that there will be some more fiction and nonfiction rereads this upcoming year. I read seven nonfiction, like physical books, and none of those were rereads. I think that's going to change this next year. I want to, there's a couple that I'm wanting to reread. I'm looking forward to 2023 and the reading that happens. I anticipate there will be less than 130 books read because many of those books were quite short audio books. Um, but who knows, because sometimes we still pull out picture books and have fun reading those too. So we will see how 2023 goes. I hope your reading year in 2022 was um, good for you. I really loved mine. So much love to you. Bye.